This is for lesson 8, particles model for the free states of matter. First, we will talk about the properties of matter in the free states. So first of all, we talk about what is free state. The first one will be solid. Solid include ice and rock, like this one. And then we have liquid, for example, juice and water, they are liquid. And then we also have the last stage, which is the gas, okay, including air and steam. Okay, for this video, you can watch it in the link below. And you are going to compare the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. Okay, when you place a wooden block in a beaker, does it take the shape of the beaker? That means, will this one change? Okay, I guess you can see that the answer should be no. You will not change the shape of the written block. Okay, it will not change. Okay, when you take out the written block and place it on the bench and then you press it or with your finger. Okay, can you compress it? That means, can you change the shape like this? Okay. And I know, you know the answer, that should be no, you cannot compress it. For the second part, when you half fill a beaker with water and then put the water into a conical flask, what happens to the shape of the water? So it will take up the shape of the conical flask. And for this part, you are going to half fill the syringe with water. And then you try to compress the water inside, okay, by pushing the puncher. Block the tip with your finger here. Can you compress the water? That means, can you push it when you put your finger here? And from the result, hopefully you know this is no. And then you are going to invade a balloon and then tie it with a rubber band, okay, like this. And then you squeeze the air inside, okay, so that you can change something. So what happens to the shape of the air? That means the balloon. So you can see that the shape of the balloon or of the air changes. And this time you are going to half fill the syringe with air. Okay, and then you try to compress the air inside by pushing the puncher. And once again, block the tip with your finger here. This time, when you do the same for the syringe, you can see that the position of the syringe, this puncher, can go inside. Okay, can go inside. This little change tells you you can compress the air. Now let's have a discussion and look at this table. For solid, does it have a fixed shape? Yes, okay, you cannot change it easily. Can it be compressed? No, you cannot push it, okay? And then for liquid, does it have a fixed shape? No, because the shape of the liquid actually depends on the shape of the container. Can it be compressed? No as well. Okay, you cannot compress it. For gas, okay, does it have a fixed shape? No. The shape of the gas depends on the shape of the container. Can it be compressed? Yes. You can compress gas by pushing it inward. Let's have a summary. For solid, it has a fixed volume. It cannot be compressed. It has a fixed shape. For liquids, they have a fixed volume. They cannot be compressed. They have no fixed shape, but take on the shapes of the containers. For gases, 
They have no fixed volume. They can be compressed. They have no fixed shape, but take on the shapes of their containers as well, just like liquid. Okay, let's look at P point. Okay, this one. I guess for the first column is easy, and then for the second column, for solid, it will have a fixed shape and volume, but for liquids, it only have fixed volume. For last one, for gases, it has nothing to be fixed. If this can be compressed, that can only be gases. If this one has a fixed shape, okay, but it cannot be compressed, then this will be solid. And last one will be if pressed, but it has no fixed shape. This will be liquids. And then we are going to Models in science is beyond our discussion. But to sum up, you should know for scientists, we often use models to study and explain how things work. Okay, Model can illustrate the structures of objects, the real uh, systems, and some abstract concepts. So, let's look at the arrangement and movement of particles in the free states of matter in terms of particle model. How do scientists describe the arrangements and movements of particles? Scientists have proposed a particle model based on the particle theory. It helps describe the arrangements and movements of the particles in solids, liquids, and gases. For solid, the particles, just like this, they are close together and are arranged regularly. Okay, look like a curve. Okay, and the particles cannot move from one position to another, but can only vibrate about a fixed positions. So, what is the meaning of vibrate? Okay, the particles go up and then goes down, but they stay at the same position. Then this is vibrate. If they can move and then change the location, that will be what we call move. For liquid, the particles are close together but arranged irregularly. That is why it looks. This is the particle, they can move around each other and they are close together, but you cannot see a curve or you cannot see a regular shape for this. This is the particles in gas. So you can see that each particle, they are far apart from each other. They can move freely in all directions. Okay, and then you are going to study the particle model Please watch the simulation and you will watch the simulation and then you can just go through it yourself or you watch the video. So let's compare the arrangements of the particles in a solid and a liquid. What are the similarities and differences between the two arrangements? For similarities, the particles in both liquid and solid are close together. The differences will be the particles in the solid are arranged regularly, while the particles in the liquid are arranged irregularly. Compare the arrangements of the particles in a liquid and a gas. What are the differences between the two arrangements? The particles in the liquid are close together. Wow, the particles in the gas are far apart. Lastly, compare the movement of the particles in a solid, liquid, and a gas. What are the differences you can observe? The particle in a solid only vibrates about a fixed position. The particles in a liquid can move around each other. 
and the particles in the gas can move freely. Scientists used the particle model to describe the arrangements and movements of particles in the free states of matter. We are going to explain the properties of matter in terms of the particle model. Okay, something that's hidden. We are going to use the particle model to explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. A solid has a fixed shape because its particles cannot move from one position to another. A solid cannot be compressed because its particles are close together. There are no spaces for it to be compressed. A liquid does not have a fixed shape because its particles can move around each other. A liquid cannot be compressed because its particles okay, are close together. Okay, a gas does not have a fixed shape because its particles can move freely in all directions. A gas can be compressed because its particles are far apart.